Okay, we have the policy review committee um, the, on April 8th, 2024, 6.32 p.m. Uh, Mrs. Bell, Mrs. Feckelman is here, Mr. Rittenhouse is here, um, Mr. Vokler is here, and Mr. Hurley is here. We do not have any legal review. There's no old business. And then new business, we have to review policy 610. Yes, uh, we have four policies here tonight to review. Um, the first one is policy 610, um, which is uh, procedural more than anything else. It has to do with uh, purchases, subjects, and bids, and quotation. Uh, this is regulated, um, and so this is what the state tells us that we're supposed to have. Obviously, periodically they change this every couple of years uh, because of inflation and things like that. Um, if you take a look, and, and those of you who have the vanilla folders or on the committee um, that are around there, we can look at the digital copies um, if you're on the uh, board website. But we've already, I've already made, I took the liberty of putting the changes in there for what it was uh, historically, like if you go down under competitive bids for things. For furniture, for equipment, school supplies, appliances, costing a base amount of uh, 23000 or more, uh, they're now saying that needs to be a competitively bid out. Um, that previously was $21,900, uh, so that's a real easy change there. Uh, and if you go down to the uh, contract for construction, reconstruction, repairs, maintenance or work on any school building or property having a total cost of value of more than 21,900. Um, that has to be competitively bid also. Um, if you notice, and I'm not going to read the text for you, but if you notice in the text, it tells us um, exactly what we have to do. Basically, we have to advertise it and get people uh, putting that out. Uh, we do this, uh, obviously, uh, because it's good, uh, it's proven financially also. Um, but these are the current, what those ranks are. In, if you look at the second page of this document, also you can see a couple things. Um, it basically also regulates uh, what are um, when we have to get quotes, and this is where we spend most of our time is uh, getting quotes. It talks about um, and we change, update the furniture, equipment, school supplies, and that's from the twelve thousand six hundred to uh, twenty three thousand two hundred, and then for contracts for construction, reconstruction, and those things, it's. 12,600, um, and I do, Tanya, if you look on there, I, it should be 21,900 written in there uh, for the second part of that. I have that written in my notes too, just in case uh, you missed that. Um, that's, those are small changes by a couple thousand dollars. When things are below that threshold, uh, technically we do not have to get quotes, but we do get quotes. It's good practice, um, unless we're in a pinch for some reason, time-wise. Uh, so we generally try, and, and I know it annoys Jay, but I, I'm always asking you don't get quotes on stuff um, as a rule of thumb. So basically, this is an update of policy. We need to update this legally um, to be current for the current statutes that are out there. Okay. Six eleven. Okay, 611 is also uh, being updated. There's one change in that policy. Um, it, if you see on the website or you see the printed document, uh, you see 21,900 was changed to 23,200. Looks like there's an extra comment there. I'll take care of that before we. Okay. That's the easy one. Thank you. 802. Okay, 802 is uh, long overdue. Uh, this is for review here. What we came to do, obviously, uh, as you're aware, we use the Princeton model um, of how we structure our schools here. However, we did make a change think, two years ago, um, and our primary center is now in grades uh, kindergarten and first grade. It was, if you see, it struck out the number two, it's already struck out on there. So that was changed to reflect our current grade configurations. Uh, intermediate center was grades uh, two through four, and the middle school is five through eight, and the high school is nine through 12. So we're basically updating that policy uh, in accordance with our current practice. Okay. 
okay? And 803. Okay, policy 803 is on there, and I know most of you are aware that Mr. Colbert's uh, been speaking about this point extensively. It's also relevant to the calendar that's going out there tonight on the Cal meeting. And basically what this does is, in the text under authority, it's adding the text. Um, we used to have 180 school days plus uh, 900 or 990 hours of instruction. Uh, now the word or is being put in there uh, because that's current with the statutes that we have. So the state's made that change. We're just reflecting that change um, in our policy. Obviously, as a district, we can do what we want to do there as long as we meet those requirements. Um, if you look on page two, there's also um, a number one and number Paragraph that begins with temporary provisions. Uh, number one is also changed, and you can see it's 180 and 900 and uh, 990. So it's just adding that text to be consistent with current law. Okay. Pretty straightforward tonight. Nothing real controversial with policies. Okay. Anybody have any comments or questions? And with policies, I think as most of you uh, know, what we do is obviously we're reviewing here in the policy committee. For those of you that are new, uh, then they know what's called first reading, and they immediately go out the first reading so we can keep things moving. Um, and then we have a voting meeting, then the next cow is called the second reading. We can make changes there also, and then finally it's voted on. And so after that, so it takes about a month and a half for a policy to move through. And we can make changes at any point in time uh, within that. Also, with some policies, uh, we consult with uh, Mr. Subers, our attorney. Um, these are pretty benign, so we don't we bother him on these. All right. Thank you. That ends policy um, at 6.39 p.m. <laughs>